गुड मॉर्निंग राहुल तो राहुल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आईओसीएल सर आईओसीएल एंड यू वांट टू गो अहेड विद द स्नैप मॉक ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग एंड यू आर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल बैकग्राउंड राइट यस सर ओके सो राहुल हाउ डू यू सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेटल फॉर्मिंग एंड मेटल कटिंग मेटल फॉर्मिंग एंड मेटल कटिंग राइट ओके सर इन मेटल फॉर्मिंग we do we change the grain structure but in metal cutting we do shearing operations means the in metal in metal forming we observe strain hardening but in metal cutting we do not observe strain hardening also there is one more example in metal cutting the material is taken up to ultimate means metal is taken up to ultimate strength but in metal forming the work is done beyond the yield strength but below the ultimate strength so how will you decide which one process you need to choose sir it depends upon the applications mm. like uh like if we take an example of gear manufacturing mm-hmm. so we can do both metal cutting also and metal forming also forming mm-hmm. uh, no not forming sorry yes in forming operations in gear forming operation we can consider casting casting is a process yes. of i said that i'm sorry, sorry. Yes, sir it basically depends upon the application mm-hmm. so for example 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 if you want to make sheets mm-hmm. so in if you want to make sheets of thinner size in and of very large with i am not i am unable to come up with an example as of now so okay so which one is your favorite area metal cutting or metal forming so both are equally good mm-hmm. okay so what is the difference between rolling and uh, drawing process rolling and drawing process sir in rolling we make sheets first and in drawing process drawing process we makes roads and wires in drawing process the material is subjected under compressive and shear stress mm-hmm. in drawing process the wire is subjected to tensile stress on one side it is pulled from one side and compression is at the where die is located in drawing process the metal material passes through the rolls where with the help of the force applied by the rolls in drawing process the wire is pulled from one side mm okay so can you can you uh, give me a few examples of the products that are uh, produced from wire produce from wire mm. products the wire itself is produced from wire and uh, other examples we use wire in application like in motor binding wires are used that is wire you, only except okay. wire i'm saying what are the other products that you going to make from the wire which is drawn in cold let us say cold drawing Have you heard about uh, merchant circle? Yes, sir. What is the use of merchant circle? Sir, it is used to um, <clears throat> determine the various loads, various forces acting during the cutting operation. So, how will you determine? 
Sir, for this we need to determine like there are six kind of forces: friction force, normal force, cutting force, tangential force, shear force, mm -hmm. and one more. One more reason. And uh, like we need only two forces, we can determine other all forces with the help of angle and coefficient of friction. So how will you determine those two forces? Sir, can I draw? No, no. How will you find out? Okay, so okay. find out other forces. Uh -huh. Okay, sir. We can use a uh, uh, dynamometer to determine the loads during the cutting so, application. Which which uh, loads I can find out from dynamometer? So we can find out cutting force and tangential force with the help of dynamometer. Mm. Means it actually measure the loads in. In directions like axial direction leaf, so in x direction and in y direction we can determine load. And usually, cutting load is determined along the direction of tool movement, and tangential load is perpendicular to the direction of the tool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what is uh, this uh, shear angle in case of cutting operation? Shear angle in case of cutting operation. Sir, it is the angle between the tool surface, oh sorry, workpiece, workpiece surface and the plane of shear, primary shear zone. It is the angle between the plane of primary shear zone and workpiece. That sign is produced is called as shear angle. So, how do we see the difference between the ASA system and ORA system of uh, tool designation? What do, why why they, what is the difference between them? Sir. In designation system per se, there are few differences like in ORS system, we have side cutting edge angle and in, sorry, in one we have side cutting edge angle and in other we have principal no, cutting no. edge angle. I, I, I'm saying that how these two systems are different, how these two system of uh, tool signature are different. Okay. So, what is the difference between planing and milling? Planing and milling. Oh, sorry, planing and shaping. Planing and shaping. Okay. In planing operation, basically these both operations are done on the flat surfaces. But the major difference in these operations is in shaping. There is tool movement is along the direction of. Means like work is done along the direction of the. In, in, in shaping, tool moves along the workpiece and then feed is given when the workpiece come back. If you are, if we obviously we are using quick return motion mechanism, so we go along the tool, tool goes along the workpiece and then when it comes back, the feed is given. But in planing, the operation is done, the tool is fixed at one place and workpiece makes the movement along the direction of the tool and then feed is given again. So who, where uh, in planing uh, how feed is given? In planing how? So in planing, when, to which part we will be giving the feed? To tool. Will be draw, the you will give. You are saying it is fixed. Yes, sir. Tool is fixed. No? Then feed is provided by what? Fixed as in it does not move along the workpiece while operator work is done. It does not move along the workpiece. Like in shaping, the workpiece is fixed and the tool is moving along the length to the operation. Then the feed is given to the workpiece. Okay. And opposite okay, is done in the plane. Got, got. Okay, now, so let me just give you the feedback now, okay? Yes, sir. Metal forming and metal cutting. Uh, okay, even though you explained me, but you, uh, I think, uh, you used many lines, like giving examples and all that. Right. So simply you could have seen metal cutting, you remove the material from the workpiece to get the final shape. As simple as yes. that. 
in metal forming you deform it by applying a compressive force to get a shape yes, and then of comparison could have been made okay you can say a different uh, kind of uh, comparison points that you made they were okay but i think keep it brief when you have to differentiate you don't uh, just uh, go point by point you don't need to elaborate they are not interested in that if they are interested they are going to ask the question so simply yes, first there is a difference you tell how these two processes are different which one to choose you got stuck up i right? you could not recall which see when you major difference seems to be like that when you want the complex shapes that you want to produce you cannot produce them by metal forming yes sir. let's say i want to produce a slot can you produce it i want a profile in the material can i produce it so there are many components where you have complex geometries which we may not be able to produce through metal forming so we will go for metal cut right and in metal cutting we will normally go for the shapes which are relatively simple but they we have to carry out the major reduction and in certain application you cannot do away with that for example let's say example you started with a sheet metal but up first gives me in sheet metal for example if i want to produce a sheet so the best method to produce will be the metal forming only there i cannot produce it from metal cutting because in that case lot of material wastage will be there because ultimately i have to produce it from the thicker uh, sheet or thicker uh, let's say slab so if i want a 1 mm or how will you produce that not fast not the form so you could you should be able to just give a few example just try to relate them rolling and drawing okay why drawing you are saying rolling is not only to make uh, sheets okay rolling is uh, when you make use of the rules to deform the material you call it as a rolling sheet is one of the example yes sir for example you are having rails rail patri hai na jo so that comes under roll form right that comes under rail. roll forming yes so that is also rolls rolling process not roll forming this is also roll forming sheet metal is also roll forming you are forming sorry, giving the shape sorry, sorry. roll forging i'm sorry roll forging like there is press forging upset forging there are some four types of forging roll roll when we say rolling that means the rolling means making use of the rolls to change the shape as simple as that okay so whether i want to change the shape of a slab into sheet simpler example or whether i want to change the let's say i am having a rectangular bar i want to yes, give sir. it a shape by making use of the rollers to produce a shape of rail right yes so, sir so we will call this. so rolling is a general term where we are using even we use rolling in pipes also yes sir yes. so yes, simply yes. say it that way drawing okay wire or you said and all that wire products see there are a lot of wire product wire is normally the wire uh, the, the wire that you are having that in itself is a product that you said but in addition to this you want to make a rivet rivet from where it will come it is a rod yes If you sir. want to make a bolt How will come yes. out? Bolt is uh, coming out. Screw, original uh, wire. That is a wire only. You are having chain. Then you are having uh, what else? I think uh, you can think of. There are so many products made up of uh, wire. By cutting the wire, then finally, right? Yes. So just go through those products. Uh, merchant circle. I think you were able to tell me that dynamometer is used to measure these forces. Shear angle in cutting the uh, that is the uh, okay that we were able to ASA. The major difference between the ASA and this is in ORS system one plane because uh, in both the system we are using the uh, three planes. Okay, to measure those six angles in the tool, but the location of the plane in ORS one plane is taken on the major cutting edge. one plane is taken as the major cutting edge and the remaining two planes are perpendicular to that whereas whereas in asa system all these three planes which are mutually perpendicular to each other they are not 
with reference to the cutting edge. They are independently taken. Okay. One plane as, as in okay, I'll study about. It. Just see, it. one plane is on the major passing through the major cutting edge in ORS. Okay. This so one we have taken, then other two will be perpendicular to it. Okay. Sir. That's all. In OR in ASA, they are independent of the cutting edge. Okay, and uh, planning and shaping, I think you were able to explain it. Okay. Sir. Okay. So I think okay, go through basic part. Uh, I think uh, keep on revising. Did you have time? Uh, right. So keep on sir, revising. One one thing I also sir, mm -hmm. you you have taken my interview on Saturday also mm -hmm. of strength of material. Mm -hmm. So sir, uh, there you said that I I am lacking confidence somewhere. Did you feel that today? Little bit, a little bit improvement. There is a little bit improvement, but see, but see, when do you have your interview? Still, date is not out, right? No, sir. But I think as you will appear for the more number of mocks over a period of time for different subjects, yes, sir. That expression will start coming out. Yes, sir. So don't as of now, don't uh, be judgmental on this part. Yes, sir. Just whenever you appear for uh, the mock, appear freely. That's all, because mm -hmm. when you will appear for the new subject. You will have doubts, and when you will have doubt, they will not come out so easily. So as mm -hmm. you will start grasping that the topics, so I think uh, that will come out. So I think uh, as at the at this stage, you don't need to bother about that okay. because at this stage uh, you are having many doubts on uh, the topics. So as uh, I think your level will go up, so I think uh, that confidence will also indirectly will improve. Yes, okay. Right. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay, also, okay.